Hey everyone, today's video is about when you are starving yourself. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and let's get going. The heavy wooden door creaks as you push it open, the comforting warmth of your shared apartment enveloping you. You are home, but something doesn't feel right. The usual anticipation, the flutter of excitement that you always feel when returning to Bakugo and Kirishima, is overshadowed by a gnawing discomfort in your stomach. You brush it off, forcing a smile as you step inside. Hey, I'm back. You call out, your voice carrying through the open space. Kirishima is the first to greet you, his broad grin lighting up the room. Hey there, babe. How was your day? You shrug, dropping your bag by the door. It was okay, I guess. Baku emerges from the kitchen, wiping his hands on a dish towel. You look like crap. You eat anything today? His tone is gruff. But you know he's worried. You hesitate, your mind racing for an excuse. Oh yeah, just not very hungry today. Kirishima frowns, stepping closer and placing a hand on your shoulder. You sure? You've been saying that a lot lately. You nod. You nod, avoiding his gaze. Just a lot on my mind, I guess. Bakugo's eyes narrow. Bullshit. You've been skipping meals. You're not fooling anyone. Kirishima's grip on your shoulder tightens. We're worried about you. You need to take care of yourself. You take a step back, feeling cornered. I'm fine, really. I'm just not hungry. Bakugo steps forward, his expression hardening. Don't give me that crap. Sit down. We're talking about this. You sigh feeling a mix of frustration and guilt. Reluctantly, you sit on the couch. Kirishima sits beside you, his arm draped around your shoulders. Bakugo stands in front of you, arms crossed, his eyes boring into yours. We know something's going on. Kirishima says softly, You can talk to us, you know that. Tears prick at your eyes, and you look down, unable to meet their concerned gazes. I just, I don't know. Everything feels so overwhelming. And eating, it just feels like one more thing I can't handle. Bakugo's expression softens, and he kneels in front of you, taking your hands in his. You're not alone in this, okay? We love you, and we want to help you through this. He sniffle, finally looking up at him. I'm scared. I don't know how to fix this. Bakugo squeezes your hand. One step at a time. We'll figure it out together. Kirishima smiles, leaning in to kiss your forehead. We're not going anywhere. We'll help you through this, no matter what. You take a deep breath, feeling a small flicker of hope. With them by your side, maybe you can find a way out of this darkness. Over the next few weeks, Bakugo and Kirishima are relentless in their support. They keep a close eye on you, gently encouraging you to eat, even if it's just a few bites. They make sure that you're never alone, always there to lend a listening ear or a comforting embrace. One evening, you come home to find the table set for dinner. The aroma of your favorite meal fills the air, and you can't help but smile. Welcome home, Kirishima calls from the kitchen. Dinner is almost ready. Bakugo appears from the hallway, a small satisfied smirk on his face. Told you would make something that you actually want to eat. He sat at the table, feeling a warmth that you haven't felt in a long time. As they bring out the food, he felt a pang of guilt. You didn't have to go through all this trouble. Kirishima laughs, sitting beside you. It's no trouble at all. We just want to make sure that you're okay. Bakugo sits across from you, his eyes softening. You deserve it. Now eat. You take a small bite, the flavors bursting in your mouth. It's delicious, and you can't tell but take another. Then another. Bakugo and Kirishima watch you with a mixture of relief and pride. That's more like it. Bakugo says with a nod. Kirishima beams, his hands resting on yours. See? One step at a time. 
As the days go by, the three of you fall into a new routine. They cook together, involving you in the process, making it a shared experience. They make sure to keep the conversation light, filled with laughter and stories from the day. Slowly, you start to feel more of it like yourself. One night, as you lie in bed between them, you realize just how much their support has meant to you. Hiroshima's arm is draped over your waist, his breath warm against your neck. Bakugo's hand rests on your shoulder, his touch grounding you. Thank you. You whisper into the darkness. Hiroshima stirs, his voice sleepy. For what? For not giving up on me. Bakugo's grip tightens slightly. Never gonna happen. We're in this together. Hiroshima nods. His lips brushing your shoulder. Yeah, always. You smile, feeling a sense of peace that you haven't felt in a long time. With them by your side, you can face whatever comes next. Together, you can overcome anything that comes your way. The next morning, you wake up to the smell of breakfast wafting through the apartment. For the first time in weeks, the idea of eating doesn't feel like a burden. You set up, stretching, and look to your left to see Bakugo already awake, scrolling through his phone. Hiroshima still asleep, his face peaceful. Morning, Bakugo says, glancing up at you. Feeling any better? You nod, smiling softly. Yeah, I think so. He leans over, pressing a quick kiss to your forehead. Good. Now get dressed and join us for breakfast. Ijiro, wake up. You throw on some comfortable clothes and head to the kitchen. Where now Bakugo was making some food for you. Then Kirishima was sitting next to him, flipping pancakes and humming to himself. He wakes up so easily, and it really scares you. He turns when he hears you, his face lighting up. Hey, you're just in time. Take a seat. He sat at the table, watching as he places a stack of pancakes in front of you. Topped with fresh fruit and a drizzle of honey, Bakugo joins you, setting down a plate of scrambled eggs and bacon. Dig in, Hiroshima says, sitting beside you. Made with extra love. You take a tentative bite, savoring the sweetness. This is truly amazing. I know, I tried to cook so hard for you, so I hope you like it. You smile, feeling their love and support for you. Truly, with them by your side, you know that you can face anything, whatever the future holds. Together, you can overcome anything that comes your way. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And goodbye!